What's an aimbot? See, like, that was 20 minutes, basically, of just not fun. I could have played a Fortnite match. <laughs> like, and played two Fortnite matches. And, like, and enjoyed myself. I could have played 20 minutes of, like, Roblox and farming my base. Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, firstly, I want to apologize for the lack of uploads. Um, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, you guys know that I've been having computer problems. Like, big computer problems and it's driving me up the wall because i just bought a custom built computer trying to up my game on everything and i've had nothing but problems from wrong parts being installed right from the get-go programming problems everything like to to say the least to get it out of the way nothing but problems right from day one and this has been like almost two weeks now of nothing but issues so i think i got it kind of sorted out i mean it's well enough that i can make this video but I hope it stays this way. I, I I thought I fixed it like three times prior to this, so <laughs> I hope this is it. Okay, enough of that though. I want to talk about the game, this new meta, the new season, competitive Overwatch, because with the introduction to Bridget, everybody's affected by this, uh, especially me, a lot of you that watch the videos, because a lot of you probably are inspired to play Widowmaker because of me, right? I mean, you watch Widowmaker videos because you like Widowmaker. Eh, I don't know if you play it or not, but if you do, Widowmaker sucks ball sack, to be very blunt right now, okay? Um, problem is, with the introduction to Bridget, her ultimate ruins the game for Widowmaker players, big time. So, let me let me just explain, okay? Firstly, I'm gonna talk, uh, be open-minded. This is as the community as a whole, okay? Not everybody's an Overwatch League player. Nobody can click heads like Linkser and Pine. Like, that is less than 1%, like very, like, very minuscule compared to the community 99 percent 99.9 .9 of players aren't able to click heads like that what happens is is this if you pay attention to the bottom left of your screen and look at my zarya my health bar right now look at how much armor i have i don't know if you've been paying attention to the gameplay since the beginning but i've had that armor for like three team fights now that's a problem what happened was with Bridget, her ultimate, actually, her armor from her ultimate doesn't go away. Shield heroes like Zarya, Symmetra, Zenyatta, they benefit like big time from this because the shield stacks on top of that armor. So in order for that armor to ever go away, you need to get rid of all the shield and then get rid of the armor. That's, that's huge, okay? Now... The way Bridget players are supposed to use their alt, in my mind, with the introduction to this hero as a support hero, it should be used in the same same way as, let's say, a Mercy Valkyrie for mass healing, uh, used in the same way as a Zenyatta alt for transcendence, use it as the same way as like a Lucio, drop the beat, boom, you have a big spike of health. The way Bridget uses her alt is, let's say you win a team fight, it's over. You win a team fight, it's done. Bridget has her ultimate. All six of you group up. You're not fighting anybody. She clicks ultimate button, whatever, Q, triangle, whatever it is for you. Clicks the button. Your team now has 150 extra health, okay? And your Bridget is able to start farming alt percentage in the next fight. So she used her alt just to give you guys like a big boost of defense. And she can char start charging her next ultimate that is not right at all. I mean, in my opinion, to make Bridget fair and balanced, her ultimate should act the same way that her armor pack works. I mean, you throw your you throw an armor pack, it heals your teammate, and then stacks armor on top of that if that teammate is at full health or whatever, right? But after, I think it's like six or seven seconds, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's something like that, the armor goes away. It disappears. Her ult doesn't do that. Her ult, you keep that armor forever until you actually take damage and lose it. See, and the problem that I have as a Widowmaker player, the problem that I personally have, if you play Widow, you're gonna come into the same problem, okay? When I'm playing Widowmaker, let's say we lose the first team fight, right? Their enemy Bridget ults, everybody has an extra 150 health. How is Widowmaker supposed to one-shot squishies? If I, if I get an angle, I'm talking high tier games, okay? I know a lot of you, like 99% of the player base is a lower rank in Overwatch, okay? 
Not everybody's in Grandmaster, not everybody's top 500, not everybody's in Masters. Like, the, the player base, the very big majority of it is in Diamond and lower, okay? The problem that you have as a Widowmaker player is you can no longer one-hit Squishies because they gain an extra 150 health. That is not okay. If I'm playing Widow, I feel like I'm throwing because if I'm not able to one-hit a Squishy right off rip and give the team an advantage, I'm not doing my part. I have no reason to be playing Widowmaker if you can't do that. That's the whole purpose. And with the Hanzo changes, you have no reason to play Widowmaker if you could just play Hanzo. Like, why would you ever play Widowmaker over Hanzo? There, you have no reason. His ult is, his ultimate is a million times better. What like what is better than a dragon ult that you can combine with Zarya and get team wiping capabilities? Even if they have 150 extra shield or armor, my bad. Uh, Storm Arrow is very strong. It's that's an okay. Don't get me wrong. I love the Hanzo changes. Okay, I'm, in comparison to Widowmaker, Hanzo is a million times stronger, and there's no reason to play Widowmaker any longer as far as I'm concerned in a competitive aspect. Okay. I'm really curious to see what the Overwatch League players do uh, when these changes go through in Stage 3 for them. I, I I can bet you that they're probably not gonna play as much Widow. Even those guys, it's like, to be to make Widow as strong as she could possibly be against a Bridget, you need to be clicking head, you need to be consistently winning the game. You Like, if Bridget ults, you're, like, you're not getting one hit kills and they're gonna get healed before you're able to get a second shot, you know what I mean? That's a problem, so. I'm curious to see how those guys play, but that's not the average gaming community, right? Like those are the 0.001 percenters that can hit headshot after headshot after headshot after headshot. The average player is not as good as Lynx or Pine, Bird Ring, like nobody's as good as those guys. That's why they're where they're at, right? And right now I feel like Overwatch caters to heroes that don't require any kind of aiming like right now, anybody that requires a gun uh, and any kind of aiming whatsoever is nowhere near as strong as anybody that doesn't. Like players like Junkrat are probably the best DPS right now. To out DPS a Bridget, or sorry, out yeah. If a Bridget's healing, like let's say you're running triple triple support, you're playing against a triple support, you probably want a Junkrat. Junkrat does mass damage. Like Junkrat is one of the best picks for that. Especially with a nerf to Tracer, like, you only do 300 damage on a Pulse Bomb now. But if Bridget's ult gives 150 armor before a team fight, let's say you go in for a grab Pulse Bomb. Uh, that's not that good. I, I don't know. I don't like the direction that they're taking Overwatch. I, don't, I hope they make some changes, to be honest. Because I feel like it doesn't matter how good I am as a Widowmaker player. It doesn't matter how good I am. I, I if I could get outplayed by heroes that require no aim whatsoever, and that's not satisfying to me. That that's it doesn't it doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? And if I if I kill somebody that doesn't require aim, it doesn't feel satisfying either because it's like it. I don't know. It's just um, if you guys play Widowmaker, you feel the same way. I know you will. I can guarantee it. But that's that's my input on the state of this season i'm gonna be playing a lot of zarya i'm gonna be abusing bridget until they nerf her i if they make any changes i don't know but i'm gonna be playing a lot of zarya i've already climbed back into gm playing dual queuing zarya bridget it sucks not feeling satisfied playing widowmaker like like i said i feel like i'm throwing if i pick widowmaker because no matter how good i do i just feel like it's not enough or i could be doing more so let me know in the comment section below what you think of this season, how the games are going for you. I'm really curious. I want to have conversations with you guys. Uh, I, I want to know what you guys think because you know my opinions. I want to know I want to know how you guys are feeling. Um, also, let me know what you think about other heroes on the channel. Like I said, I'll be playing a lot of Zarya. I want to start playing lots of Hanzo too. And I, I just feel I feel like scared. Does that, does that sound bad to upload widow, like characters that aren't Widow to the channel? Like, you guys come to my channel to watch Widowmaker, and I just don't, I can't play Widowmaker into this. You know what I mean? So it's like, what do I do? I hope, uh, I hope you guys don't mind, because I'm definitely going to be uploading some different heroes. L maybe comment down below. Tell me some heroes you want me to play that aren't Widowmaker. 
possibly something that's in meta you know what i mean comment down below let me know tell me about the subject at hand bridget this season some other heroes that i can play um let me know because yeah i i'm just stumped it's hard <laughs> this season sucks for me it sucks for youtube it sucks for widow uh, it's it's not a good time for this guy that's for sure so uh anyways yeah thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one